Hi, this is Brian Fogarty, and this is a video for chapter 13 for the book Quantitative Social Science Data with R, second edition. So in this video, what we're going to do is create predictive probability plots for an ordered logit model. Um, as I mentioned in a previous video, I like uh, predictive probability plots. If we, if we can do them, um, if our data allows them, I think they're really great. So we are going to create one where we have Scottish identity um, on the x-axis and then the lines in the plot are going to be the predicted probabilities of the different outcomes or different levels, categories, whatever, of our outcome variable. So the four different levels of trust. Um, the code we're using is very similar to what we used before um, with the second predictive probability plot that we did for binary outcome models. Um, so let's let's get into it. Again, if you remember, this code is fairly lengthy. Um, it's a big, big chunk of code, <laughs> so just got to bear with me. All right, so we're going to start out with the ggpredict function, which we used before. This is to generate our predicted probabilities. Uh, let's take a look at it, though, just to see first um, what um, what's generated out of it when we're using it for a ordered logit model. Okay, so we do, oh, that's not gonna, that's not gonna help, hold on. So we're gonna do names and then gg predict, there we go. Uh, then the model, model o logit, and do comma terms equals Scott. All right, so let's just take a look. Arr! I need to learn how to spell. There we go. GG predict. Okay, so we have a new um, value here. If I remember right, now I'm, now I'm confusing myself. Did we have this before? No, I didn't think so. Okay, uh, we have this response level. This response level is for the predicted probabilities of our outcome variable, the four categories of uh, trust. Okay, so um, we're going to include that as the lines. All right, so this is going to be our lines uh, variable. So even though we've already gone through and or, uh, made trust a factor and ordered it, um, all that kind of jazz, we have to do it again <laughs> because it's going to be the values are for response level. So we're going to have to do it again. Um, all right. So we have this. This, this is the beginning of the, the code. We're going to use piping. Um, we're going to do mute, mutate. And again, we're going to last time we did it as group, right? Um, this time we're going to do it as response level. OK, so response level equals ordered and then open parenthesis as factor, open parenthesis, and then response level. And then I'm gonna go two out, so two closed out, so before the last close parenthesis, I'm gonna do comma, then response level, and then equals recode, response level, um, all right, so, okay, right after right after level, we're going to do a comma, and this is where we're including the labels. I'm going to pull it back just a little. So I'm going to do one equals never, comma, two. Oh, I did this last time too, huh? Two equals sometimes, and then three equals usually, and finally, four equals always. Okay, so it, that closed, that closed. All right, so we have um, 
created our our uh, variable for for the lines that that has the um, labels attached to it, so that will show up real nice. Um, you know, one of the things I said at some point, I can't remember when, I might have said it multiple times, uh, but usually when we, when when we recode something or you know alter, manipulate whatever a variable, we we save it as a different name. Um, this time we're not, and I don't know, maybe we should partially because it's not response level is not part of a data set um, or a data frame or a tibble. Um, it's generated out of the GG predict. So if we mess it up, it's, it's incredibly easy. It's easy. It's super, super easy just to redo it. And that's by just rerunning GG predict. Okay. So we have that all, all good to go. Now we're going to do the GG plot stuff. All right, so there's there's something come. Oh, good, run away. <laughs> the X, the X. Sometimes it's useful. Usually it's not. It's just there to scare you. Okay, I'm gonna do uh, ggplot mapping equals AES, and then X equals X. Again, it sounds like a spy thing. Y equals predicted. Okay, because it's still the predicted probability. So we need that on the Y. Then we're gonna do color equals response level. Um, and then fill equals response level. Okay, so um, now this looks it'd be like OCD here. So I also mentioned this before about how um, if you put a space or not, it doesn't matter uh, with with an equals. It's probably you know it lo generally looks nicer if you have spaces, but sometimes you know if it's it's not a big deal. So if that's frustrating, sorry about that. All right. Uh, okay. Plus, then we're going to include our line, um, geome smooth, or our lines. Technically, this is where we're going to do um, standard error equals false, and then we're going to increase the size just a little bit, just to make it look nicer. We're going to do the geome ribbon again. This is what we had before. Um, AES and we have y min equals conf low, right? So this is the, the, the lower bound of the prediction interval. And then uh, y max, actually, I'm going to put a space there, that's bad. y max equals uh, conf high. All right, then we go outside that first closed, comma. Um, alpha equals 0.2 and then color equals an a so again this is this is what we had before um, if you're asking like why do I why do I know the size and the alpha that was just from playing around with it um, so I tried it a couple times and you know you see what works what looks good how it looks good to me might not look good to you so you might choose something different okay uh, then we do a plus and we include our, we're gonna clean up the x-axis here. So x, scale x continuous limits. Ah, I got a double, got a double. All right, limits equals uh, c and then one, seven. All right, so that's the, that's the range of the values. And then we're gonna have breaks that go from one through seven, okay. All righty, and then, okay. The rest of the stuff is adding the labels, um, adding, we're gonna do theme minimal, and then we're gonna also use the Veritas. So what I'm gonna do, just to save a little time, I should have done it before, <laughs> once we got to how this is just repeating, um, I'm gonna go up here and steal it from earlier, right? from right here. So this is in a previous, this was for our predictive probability plot um, for, for a binary logit model. Okay. All right, so again, you know, taking it from above saves time and it also um, makes it so that we're less likely 
to make mistakes because as you can see it's very easy to type things wrong okay um we are going to change this part so it's not voting yes right the predicted probabilities Pre predicted probabilities are corresponding to trust so predict probability um, and we have multiple so it's predicted probabilities right so predict probabilities of trust in the UK government you can call it whatever you want really <laughs> all right I think that's good so let's um, let's highlight all the code I'm gonna run it okay so I'm gonna click zoom okay so this is what we get so again this is this is similar but slightly different from what what we had before um, on the x-axis is the strength of Scottish identity again but then each one of these lines is corresponding to the predicted probability of that outcome as we increase on the strength of Scottish government so we see in the legend here that these are ordered correctly um, in terms of you know it goes from never sometimes usually always so we look at this let's take a look here so this top one is sometimes so what we can say is that um, that we're okay so that <laughs> that the sometimes category has the highest predictive probability across all of the levels of strength of Scottish identity all right so um, you know if we wanted to be more specific on interpreting it we could say that at as strength of Scottish identity increases uh, the predictive probability of, of sometimes sometimes trusting the British government slightly goes down um, the purple is never so um, predict predict probability of never trusting the British government UK government goes up green is uh, usually that goes down and then always goes down but very slightly um, we can see that uh, these prediction intervals are pretty big um, so they're a little sloppy so I'm just trying to think like what the best option here so you know sometimes when this happens it will depend on our goals really but we might we might want to get rid of the prediction intervals just in the, just in the sense that um, it, it can confuse people again I was talking about this more in the, in for the binary outcome um, but it could confuse people where they're where they're looking at it and, and and they're not really sure what's going on so I'm just what we could do we could cut it out but I'm just gonna hash it out in our in our code here so what they'll do is just get rid of those those um, prediction intervals okay so that's a, that can be a little clearer we might want to like thicken up the lines but all right uh, so in in the chapter I I kind of have it broken out as how do we discuss this um, a little a little more formula formally than than I did in this video all right uh, so that is it for this video this um, is the last one for ordered logit um, the next video will be on doing multinomial logit so thanks for watching and I'll see you next time.